Hey everybody, Dieter Bone here for Tippy.com, and we have an iPad 2. This is the white version and it is a 64 gig. Obviously it comes in lots and lots of different iterations, 16, 32, 64, and then it also comes with just Wi-Fi only, or you can get the 3G version, and then the 3G version is available on both AT&T and Verizon. So here we go, and we're just going to unbox it here. Typically this happens in the store, and the reason they do that in the store is because when you first turn on the iPad, as we'll do here, it's going to tell you right away that what it needs you to do is hook it up to iTunes before you can use it. Just remove this plastic here, and uh, you see in the box, cable, charger, that's about it. It's very, uh, not a whole lot there. So here it is in white, and uh, as you can see, it uh, looks pretty good. Uh, the, the white bezel maybe isn't too distracting, now it wants us to hook up to iTunes. Uh, to give you a sense of what's going on hardware-wise, we'll just come in here a bit. And you can see that what we have here is, sorry for the focus there, um, we have a front-facing camera here and then a light sensor right above that, right in the middle of the top of the device. At the bottom, of course, is our standard home button. And it feels a, a little bit shallower than other buttons I've seen on, uh, on the iPad. Um, on the back, uh, nice black logo. Our speaker, single speaker is down here. Here's where we plug in the dock connector. We have our volume buttons and then a ringer switch, which you can adjust to uh, do either ringer volume or to turn off the orientation lock. Here's another camera. Uh, for the back, and then we also have got a power button up here, which is nice and big and clicky. Microphone and our 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Um, so, you know, uh, if you haven't heard, the, the big deal, this is it compared to the original iPad, uh, is that it is thinner by quite a bit actually. Um, it's really hard to see here, maybe if I do it this way, but whereas the original iPad has this uh, long, flat thing on every side, the new iPad, the iPad 2, is just curves right in, sort of like an iPod Touch, which I was initially concerned would make the buttons a little bit harder to push, like I feel like they are on the iPod Touch, but in fact, it's actually not too bad at all, since they make the buttons so big and clicky. Uh, it also weighs a little bit less, and so overall, the uh, the overall feeling is that it's actually much, much just nicer to hold and you can hold it for a longer period than uh, you can the original iPad. Um, so that's just a quick overview of the, uh, the hardware of the iPad 2. Obviously we're going to be giving you a whole lot more coverage than this over at uh, tippy.com. So we're going to sync this bad boy up and we're going to take a look. Actually, that's a lie. We're going to take a look at the smart cover, which is very, very cool. The packaging is even kind of neat. Yeah pull up this sticker on the back and that lets you push open the lid and then the smart cover slides out of its little plastic sleeve here and here's how you attach it. You just sort of click, let it click over to the side. It automatically aligns so you can't, you know, it does not too high or too low and then you just hold it over and then if you lift it up it turns on and then it locks it, closes it down when you, you close it again. Um, it also has this uh, microfiber inside which is supposed to clean it a little bit, um, but um, it's not all that effective at that. Um, you can then wrap it up into this little triangle mode here and that gives you two views. One is you set it down uh, to type on and then you can also set it vertically which from this angle obviously would be too useful for you. Anyway, the smart cover is actually pretty slick. It doesn't add that much thickness. This is the uh, the orange polyurethane. It also comes in a bunch of different colors and leather. And um, it only goes on the one way though. If you try and put it on the other side, if you're a lefty, it doesn't work. Although the magnet will turn the screen on and off, which is kind of fun. So there you go. It only goes on the one way. All right. Stay tuned to tippy.com for much more.